Welcome and thank you very much for your time this morning. The business finder says job creation government must provide plan to make significant impact according to the TUC. Bring down lending rates or, or what? Find out from the business finder. Malcolm supports Greening Ghana project. The daily guide this morning, NDC hired mercenaries on trial. Otum Ford to address the United Nations and high rent nailed global access. Uh, I'm sure you know by now that their licenses have been revoked. Nana meets palm oil producers and bench warrant for Otum Ford's chief killer. That's uh, wanted. Alaji Sadat is on the front page of the Daily Guide. The business, uh, the Daily Graphic 2019 Ghana Teacher Prize launched. Professor uh, Kwesi Yankas Foto, there is the minister in charge of uh, tertiary education. Salaries of 1,975 public servants withheld. They are to open new accounts to receive payment. Right for assistance to claim your 39 million. Attorney General advises Mesgold CEO, uh, not the press conference. Write a letter and, and let's know where we can make progress from there. Construction of National Cathedral. Preparation work starts and uh, there's an aerial shot by the daily graphic there so those are the uh the dailies for this morning when we receive the rest we'll announce uh their presence to you but i've been joined this morning by mr george you see he is uh, the communications director for the national disaster management organization nadmo and mr Eddie mcbana is also the deputy national youth organizer of the ndc gentlemen welcome good morning uh, do you do you think <laughs> <laughs> oh my god anyway so w let's begin from yesterday uh there was a documentary on a sister station about the ppa um contracts for sale that's what it, it's been titled and they they rot or allegations of rot in there are quite underwhelming um i don't know if you have seen it mr ac and what do you think about it immediately if you want to share a few thoughts why not yeah, thank you, uh, John Eves. Uh, good morning uh, to your viewers. Uh, good morning to my co-panelists. Uh, I have not had the opportunity to watch the uh, documentary, okay. but I've read uh, the excerpts. Right. And um, uh, he very, very truly <laughs> say in the Director of Public Procurement mm. and his team, uh, he set up a lot of companies mm. and in fact those companies are actually uh, selling contracts mm. uh, which contracts is actually benefiting them invariably is like <laughs> most of the contracts that are being uh, awarded okay. or short any uh, number of companies that are shortlisted mm -hmm. those companies that actually belongs to the director of public procurement right. uh, are always among the shortlisted companies mm. uh, these are very worrying situations especially on the heels of, of government's resolve or determination mm. to fight mm. corruption and, and what government is actually doing in fighting corruption. In, in a recent Afrobarometer release, uh, about 60% of the Ghanaian people believe government is actually fighting corruption. Mm. Okay, the latest Afrobarometer release. And so that was heartwarming. But to be watching documentaries of this nature mm. and hearing some of the, the conducts by people who have been put in positions of trust mm -hmm. uh, to lead and combat especially a public procurement mm -hmm. uh, combat acts of corruption is because that we brought this ppa you know to help you know sanitize the mm -hmm. procurement uh, sector right okay. Okay. and this government is going a step ahead to get a public uh, procurement uh, minister a sector mm -hmm. minister in charge of uh, public procurement because a lot of the corrupt acts mm -hmm. uh, are actually done in in procurement processes okay mm -hmm. if if awarding a contract imagine that a 20 or 30 kilometer road contract is being awarded mm -hmm. and these processes are gone through by uh, the conduit agency or company of of the ppa mm -hmm. director mm -hmm. then it becomes problematic the, the, the ppa uh, has a substantive ministry yes led by honorable Ajua Ajua Safo. Safo. so the question of supervision comes in yeah because he if he sits at the top and these allegations are true per the video and everything what role should the minister have been playing in terms of supervising an agency under her well johnny uh you see in the processes the minister cannot 
take over the duties of the director right. and, and other subordinates who are to go through the prep stage mm. and get it to her. Right. You get it. And so certain processes ought to be followed. Mm. The shortlisting mm. and co is not done by the minister. Mm. You get it. And so when you do all these things, then mm. you forward, you put it on the table of the minister. Then the minister will peruse it mm. and see whether the processes have actually been followed. I I'm asking this question yeah. because this, there was a recent one where the minister said she was going to investigate. Okay. Uh, and I was thinking, well, okay, so what kind of communication goes on yeah. between the PPA director, that's a subsidiary of the ministry, yeah. Yeah. and the minister in charge? Does she get time to look into the books, to get time to have meetings, to perform uh, executive audits? Yeah, kind of yeah. no, like. she will definitely have time. But if you look at, from what I read, if, if is the case, right. when something is put before me, how do I know the company is actually for uh, Agbana? You get it. The names are there. We have similar names. You I'm George. Make a phone call. You say, I'm, no, I'm George AEC, right? Yeah. There are other George AEC. When you get right. to a Duke room, there right. are other George AECs mm. there. You mm. get it. Mm. And so, how will you know that company with George AEC is actually mine? Make a phone call. You call me and I say it's not Make mine. Make a phone call to the Registrar General's office. Of course. Out. Yeah, you, you, you get names. Ministry. Yes, mm. <laughs> yes. Mm. So, and that's what I'm saying. The Director of Procurement will do mm. some of these due diligence. Mm. You get it. And get it uh, to the top. I agree. The Minister can decide to say I'm making cross-checking or verification to see whether mm. uh, the names I'm seeing, which resembles the names of my director, okay. are actually not him. Mm. You get it? Mm. That could be done. But uh, as of now, I'm not going to fault the minister okay. for that. But mm. it's something she could have done, mm. okay? Mm. Because if you see the directors of the company and you see Johnny Hughes there, any TV3 director will say, mm, let's check let's, let's which check Johnny it. Hughes mm. is this. Mm. I agree mm. with you, mm. okay? If uh, she could have done it. If she's not done it, well, for now, not fault her till uh, we go into the merits mm. of the matter. Where do we, as, where, where as do we go now, from where, what, here? Uh, oh, no, no. As of now, it's mm. allegation. This government is committed to unravel the details of all these matters. I'm telling you, the government is not going to mm. uh, sit down and look on and concern. Uh, once this has been brought out, the president mm. is determined to fight the corruption canker. Mm. And so once uh, our brother Manasseh Azuri Awuni, uh, an investigative journalist, mm. has brought these out, and I believe TV3 is not going to rest, you're also mm. going to be push the, pushing this. And so the president will actually get into this and then if we need to uh, uh, crack the whip, we're mm. going to do it. This president is not going to uh, rest till so, we get to the bottom. So, of so the now, matter. my final question to you will be: What what will be the overall impact of of persons who are paid with the taxpayers' money to ensure that things are done right, and and you would have them uh, raping the state, as I put it earlier? You see, what does it mean for you in government? A government that says, I'm in a hurry, yes. I want to liberate the people, yeah. I want to yeah. do... And things. we are taking steps to liberate the people and then give a short Th this future is not for liberation, the future sir. generation. No, a lot of yeah. sectors are working and functioning very well. But that is not to say these things, uh, it happens in government. It's not, you see, if you go to the UK or, or the US, people do not uh, stop at traffic or do not jump because, you know, it's fun. Mm. They know the consequences of jumping traffic mm. there. You get it. Mm. And so it is the response of government when such things are brought before government, mm. okay? That is what is going to strengthen the system. Okay. And then send the signals to all appointees of government that mm. we mean business. We are not here uh, to joke. You get it. And so how government is going to respond to these things will send the right signals to the citizenry and members of government that look we are not going to countenance some of these corrupt acts you get it mm. and so that is very very important response of government and then manasseh's readiness to bring all the evidence to the table Clarence, so we've we have seen some have been cleared in the past. oh no manasseh of, of, uh, sorry not not not, uh, not, yes, not in this uh, particular thing, but we've seen hey, Johnny, yeah. you know some other yes. acts i mean I've been, no, people have been cleared in the past Clarence, well, you I get mean, it. Now, if, if you allege that I'm corrupt, you get it, and they call you to bring the facts and the evidence and you, you chicken out, how do you expect government to proceed Clear, with it? Clearing somebody you get means it. that they were, first of all, complicit, don't you think? Oh, no, once allegation is made, you get it. Mm. It says, I have been involved in A, B, C, D. They look into the matter. 
I, I'm not involved in that. And you were not able to establish my link or connection to such uh, allegations. What happens? I will be uh, clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Okay. Let's be ready to support our allegations with facts and okay. evidence. Mm -hmm. Then government will be strengthened mm -hmm. to prosecute or to take action against the corporates. Okay. Uh, Adam, take, take a bite on this one. Uh, this, is, this is the latest we have <laughs> yeah. at this point. Uh, what, what do you say? Ms. Lacey has, has assured us that government, for example, will not renege on his efforts to ensure that people are brought to book. Uh, is that an, as, as, uh, a statement you want to associate yourself with? Johnny, good morning good to morning. you and uh, to our cherished viewers across the country. Um, let me use your platform to wish the NDC well as we uh, hold our parliamentary primaries mm -hmm. in 196 constituencies this weekend on Saturday. Mm. I have some very good friends contesting as well. <laughs> I want to wish all the young people in the race and the women in the race. You don't take sides. Very well. I'm not taking sides. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I speak for the youth. So I'm, I'm yes. wishing the youth, uh, the very youthful candidates, the very best. Some, some, uh, are, in, some in, are youth in, at in, heart. Yes, some they are youth at heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish all of them the very best. Uh, let me also use this opportunity to uh, encourage our viewers that at 5 p.m. today, mm. President John Dramani Mahama will engage Ghanaians mm. uh, in a Facebook, very interactive Facebook live mm. chat at 5 p.m. Okay. And so uh, I'm encouraging young oh, people exactly? to join him. No, I mean, he's going to answer questions from young people, questions about his vision, questions about reflections on his administration, what is going on currently and all of that. So it depends is, on is the it, question that a, you is pose Is it the same him. I saw about the... His statement on the banking sector and him going to do a, a live Facebook. Uh, no, this this is a Facebook. It's, it's an interaction. He wants to have an interaction. But, but I'm, sub I'm submitting to you with, that with, I've with, seen with, an with, artwork with, that suggests that he's no, going to no, speak no, on Facebook. No, no, no. What what I what I know is that he's going to engage the Ghanaian okay. uh, uh, public in a Facebook live. Any question that you put to him, he he will provide I'll, answers. I'll it can be on you. it can be on the banking sector. It mm. can be on what whatever. That you think, but I'm uh, saying that of, the, um, the, the what I have here, concern. which I saw, uh, it says that John Mahama Live joined former president and NDC flag bearer John Mahama, the Facebook Live interactive section. Okay, and, and yes, so yes. The, so the, the person who shared it with me said, Yeah, that so we're going to talk yeah, about I the mean, he didn't state specifically okay. what he was talking so, about. The banking yeah. sector, so yeah, 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 Manasse mm -hmm. for a good work done. Um, yesterday, I, I, I watched the documentary and I cringed. While watching it, I feel that it is, I mean, all of us who have been advocating for media freedom, we, we, we feel very vindicated. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, corruption is a canker that has been with us as a society for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not just limited to the Ghanaian uh, society, mm -hmm. but some countries have been very successful at fighting corruption mm. and in all of these countries that they fight corruption and keep it at its lowest or its minimum level the media played a very critical role and i have always been of the view that when you give the media the chance you give the media the support they can help us fight corruption mm. and what manasse did the documentary we saw yesterday concise precise straight to the point and what even amazed me was how intelligently he could rely on some of the very simple things that some of us take. I mean, we very negligible things like a funeral obituary posters yeah. to trace the details. Yeah. Mm. That I thought was a very smart That's one. Nice. And the whole production crew and his team must mm. be commended for a good work done. Mm. Johnny, the gentleman in question, the PPA CEO boss, mm. in 2018 received an award as a procurement man of the year he was awarded that, and, that his and, credentials and, are not doubtful and, right and no no i mean his credentials in terms of holding position is not doubtful but what this documentary should us is how we have the watchmen people who have been entrusted mm. with power with authority to ensure that there is integrity in the process of procurement and how they are betraying the trust of Ghanaians. Mm. And that is what we must hammer. Mm. It will also amaze you to know that as recent as February 2019, mm -hmm. the minister in charge of procurement, the Honorable Ajua Safo, mm. 
set up, establish a committee. Mm -hmm. According to her, the committee was to ensure that there is integrity in procurement processes. And this gentleman featured prominently. In fact, on the day of the launch of the committee, he spoke. And he spoke about how it is important to have integrity in, in procurement process and all of these things. Only to come and find out that few months after he was appointed as the CEO of PPA, he formed a company, gets all of these contracts, sells the contracts, and this is what Manasseh has exposed. It tells you that there is a fundamental problem that we must be interested in. Even the, 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 the public outcry of the supposed watchman mm. who is watching the watchman. But you see, if we focus on A.J. Nimbwatin, mm. A.J., mm. as an individual, we may miss the point. Why, why the point so? is that he formed a company as, written, as recent as June 2017. Okay. Three months mm. after he was appointed as the CEO for the PPA. Mm. How did he bid for this contract and got all of this contract from various sectors? Roads, sanitation, and all of that. What are you the PPA, The PPA does not award contracts to themselves. What are you suggesting? What I know, and we all know, is that before you bid for some of these government jobs, your company must have a proof mm. of a track record. Mm. How did he get this contract? We need to move beyond him. Mm. Because he doesn't award the contracts to himself. And if you watch the documentary carefully, he even, especially when he came to the Santa Maria uh, the, the, the project mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. distill the gutters and right, all of right. that. How a member of parliament with a phone call mm -hmm. can get him to move his equipment from one location to another without varying the contract sum tells you that if we want mm -hmm. to focus on only Ibrahim Aj, Aj Nimbwatin, as the gentleman who is corrupt alone, mm -hmm. we may miss the point. Let us go in and investigate. All these sectors that he that he got the the, 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 the contract from. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the roads ministry. Let's find out how did he get the contract? Who are those who sat on the tender board? Mm -hmm. What documents did he present to get the contracts? So it is not just about him. There are bigger fishes. But what will happen obviously is that because he is the one that has been caught on video mm -hmm. and is so clear, it is likely that this morning or by end of today mm. he will be sacrificed who, who are the but, bigger but fishes the, the bigger case. fishes that, that, that's what i'm saying that i cannot sit here and just mention names but we know and it is common knowledge mm. that ppa doesn't award contracts so, to themselves. so who should be acting in in this the the, the sector ministries that are involved all the places that he got those contracts right. from we need to know and you know for a fact that per the public procurement act mm. if you have a contract mm -hmm. and for any reason you cannot execute the contract and you want to outlet the contract mm. to another company you ought to even do that yeah. with the permission of the PPA, with, of the PPA mm. and even the awarding body right that's true that's so right. how did he sell all these contracts without all of these things so let's move beyond the gentleman and go in for the bigger fishes and again when you talk about corruption we are told that from 2017 to now government or Ghana has lost 9.6 million mm. to corruption 9.6 9.6 billion actually billion, billion to mm. corruption and you want to ask yourself that with all the public rhetoric about president kufado being incorruptible and he fighting corruption as my brother sought to suggest by saying that there's public confidence that they are fighting corruption and all of that you don't believe what, them. What, what is the result? No, you don't believe them. Uh, it's not and, and, and you see, you see, you he quoted Afro you, Yes, yes, yes. You see, you see, the NPP sometimes they amazes me when they make reference to some of these rankings and Afro barometers and all of they that. They didn't manufacture. Any time, no, any time that the Afro barometer points to the fact that they are not doing well or there is corruption, they disagree with it. When it favors the, and even this is the person, the person you also, asking, you also I don't have, same. I don't and have you, the, also no, you see, you see, President Akufado mm. has failed miserably wow. to crack the whip on corruption sure? from day one. Really? The, the office of the special single, prosecutor. No, you see, it is not, I'm telling is you that, that it is not just action. about the establishment mm. of agencies, okay. anti corruption <laughs> agencies. It is not just about the passing 
of strong laws. We've done all of this in the past. It is not just about promulgating course of conduct for companies. We have done all of that. Mm -hmm. It is not just about setting up committees like <coughs> Adel Safo did Sorry. in February. In fact, a member of the committee he set up to ensure integrity is the one that we have been discussing this one. It's not, it's not about all of this. It's about the results. From day one, President Akufuado has failed to crack the whip on corruption. What do you advice? No. You had a chance to I advise the president. I want, to, advice? I, want to, I want to give you, I want to, I want to cite a literally no, no, we, a we, 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 of need, examples. we need to switch so so let me tell, give you an example what, what should the president be doing now when you have a case like the visa racketeering scandal where Ghanaian alleged sports journalists were deported Austra from australia you 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 first suspended the deputy minister and some individuals involved you waited for a while and then you reinstated the minister as we speak the report from the commission is not out we admit there was wrongdoing, and you haven't punished anybody for it. So who, who's, whose conduct led to that embarrassing spectacle in Australia? PDS, mm. we're discussing today. What action has been taken on it? Five said it five million, you for 30, five million 30 liters, days. Five million <laughs> liters mm. of, 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 of fuel mm. that got missing at bust. Missing. Even the NPA at the no. time. Even the NPA at the time said that the movie peanut company that got the contract was not registered. Right after the committee of inquiry was set up, President Akufuado cleared them. So what has happened? You see, President Akufuado has gained some notoriety. What, what, what should the president be doing? As the person who what, clears what, everybody who is involved in any should the president be doing? What should the president be doing? What, what, should, the should, be doing? what, what should the president should be doing? What the president should be doing is that <laughs> the president ought to be honest. And he cut is. the on corruption. He says, show me evidence. Show me evidence. Oh, there have been many He's cases. Of evidence were presented. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm uh, telling you that the president has his credentials now is that he's a clearing agent when no, it comes to corruption. The he hasn't taken any <laughs> combative action you're, you're on not, corruption. You're not being fair to the president. I'm not being fair. I've cited examples. Didn't he clear Payos Hajide? Didn't he clear the gentleman involved in the five million bots issue? Didn't he clear the cash for seat issue? Johnny, and we all saw the cover up. The, the, the cash for seat eh? was in parliament. Eh? It was, it it was the subject of please. parliamentary eh? inquiry. Even before the, you can and say. Is that easy? Is that easy? Hold on, please. George, you can some of these things are public records. Even before the parliament ended their report, they didn't the president issue a statement to say that. So you're saying the president should do what? Even before the parliament, the president should do what? And I'm saying that I don't have confidence in President Akufuado in fighting wow. corruption. Sixty but percent of the, the citizens. No, you see. Go ahead. We, go we, ahead. We, you don't we, have confidence. I don't have confidence. But, but what? Because he has failed. He has failed all the tests on so, corruption. So, had, <laughs> so, uh, so grant, granted forward. that what you're saying is is what it is. Uh, that what is what it is. What, what, what should the president be doing? What at this what, point? what the Moving president forward. what the president should must must do is that one, he must come out and admit that. When it comes to corruption, he has failed. Wow. And begin to crack the creep <laughs> on the corrupt officials. Okay. One. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. George, allow, allow George to have yeah, a bite. George. Small information. Uh, my understanding is the PPA is directly under the uh, purview of the Ministry of uh, Finance. Right. Uh, the Nana, uh, sorry, Honorable Ajua Safu mm. is the advisor to the president of the presidency okay. on public procurement. Mm. You get it. And so uh, it falls within the remit of the finance ministry. Right. So the man reports directly to the uh, well but but minister. with okay. a, minis so, a ministry but yes, for I, I understand the structure things, yes but yes. a minister so for is, for procurement yes uh, who will advise the president yes uh, you know you must gather information of course, from, so of course i agree with you it's not to you know uh vitiate the initial <laughs> points that we, we we made uh but look this president uh, Adam, is Adam says uh, the president has failed I'm, I'm, he should I'm start cracking the quid, I'm even stop clearing look, people another aspect another aspect look uh the cash for seat it was parliament open on before national parliament, television the president right? had cleared them and you remember it brought you the accused issues mm. Mm. Oh. flimsy allegations no this uh, are, matter are, are all flimsy no i mean public committee public allow me allow me you are talking about allow me allow me to do my work and allow me to speak if you get parliamentary quiet for you and then before the parliamentary committee adam wait adam wait adam wait the president had cleared the individuals involved adam wait it is public records and then please is that easy? Good. Bipartisan approach on national television. You watch it. Proceedings. You get it. And so that, and again, you are in parliament. Over 100 and, 
uh, six members of parliament, I suppose, you get it, on the minority side. What stops them from calling for the report? Okay? Mm. Can they do that? The uh, Australian visa racketeering mm. something. Let's get the details of why uh, my good brother and friend, uh, Pai, Honorable Pius Hajide, was, was, was uh, left off the hook. You get it? For you know, he's not complicit in anything. Mm. Okay? But once, let's, um, they are right. They want the report. Let the public see mm. if it is something that we feel is good for public consumption. You know, we swear oaths of secrecy and other mm. things. For whatever reason, government is clothed with the powers are, and authority are you, are you worried? to keep certain are things Are you worried out that the, the, the allegations so of corruption yes. against this guy or in this government is becoming one too many? Oh, Are no, you I mean, no, yes, it's worrying. You know, once we set out to fight corruption, when you get in allegations of such nature, it should give you, you, know, you must some, have some butterflies in your tummy. So, you what's, your, what's your plan? Yes. What's the no, no, plan? That's, that's what I'm saying. The president is going to act immediately on these matters and other matters that have been brought before the president. He's looked at the merits of it, okay? And then he said, no, once the committee has brought a report and the people are exonerated, the president cannot say, no, you are, the committee exonerates you. I am mm -hmm. going to indict you and then prosecute you. And then, for example, no. suggests that, look, yes. in most of the cases, the president yes. says, go and sin no more. And oh, no, he no, has no. reassigned. For example, in the case of Mr. Hajide, um, he was moved from the sports ministry and he was suspended for a, a while. No, the suspension the, was to, the, to allow to the, the investigation information ministry. To go. But the report, it. the report is not clear. It's not, it's not uh, yes. public yet. Yes, it's not public. That's what I'm saying. They have minority members but must of parliament. We, must we, we have we ask ask that report. Can but, 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 but must we ask for, for a government that says it's fighting crime? Transparency and must we must we ask for a report? We don't know the reason before the report that. is. We don't is, know is the reasons out. for that. Mm. You get it. There are certain things you that should are be classified. telling me what. No, the there are certain things uh, that are classified information for public good. You get it. It's there. But this one, because there was an allegation of Australian visa racketeering, corruption, and co, I personally think that document, that finding, should be made public. Okay, if it's not made public, the minority must push for it to okay. be made public so we can go. Because Thank my brother, I mean, uh, Pius, my the brother Pius himself, you know, has said time I've watched him here, you know, saying certain things about his non involvement mm. in some of these things, mm. and it will be for his own good, and he will love it mm. when if the document is made public so that his name will be cleared once and okay. for all. Okay, so, so, so I will and then wants you to that. know that the minority in parliament well, has been pushing for it, but they should, they why should they stop? Coming. They should go, go and push it, but why, okay. why must they be pushing every now and then? There are legal <laughs> processes to get it, okay? There are legal processes, all right? If it gets to the court and the court says it's a classified this thing, the court will tell them, okay? We do not is know it? if it's classified yes. or not, but uh, the final newspaper this morning says. Job creation, government must provide plan to make significant impact, TUC. And uh, given the enormity of the enormity of employment problem in the in the country, uh, the Trades Union Congress, the umbrella labor union in the country, has asked government to provide a comprehensive job creation plan to deal with the crisis. We need an Akufuado plan similar to Marshall plan in order to make a significant impact. Uh, on the employment situation in the country. The union demanded in a statement in a mid-year review of the 2019 budget statement such a plan uh, is said that, uh, well, they required that all development efforts, policies, and programs were focused on job creations. Um, again, I'll start with you, Mr. AC. Your government, since coming to power, uh, as a power budget, a Juma budget, you know, all the, all the budgets you have been putting yeah. out there, and in fact, the, the statements would have been made points to job creation. Yeah. Um, recently, the Minister for Labor and, and Employment Relations was supposed to put out some figures. But then, on the ground, people are saying, look, these figures cannot be what you say they are. For example, 745,000 jobs were told were created in agriculture. Planting for food. Yeah, planting jobs. for food yeah. and jobs. And people say, look, those are not jobs. These are people who are already working. You come and do head count, and you put them together and say, that is it. What is the government's plan uh, in terms of creating jobs? Because 5,000 people have lost their jobs right now in the banking sector. What's the government's plan? 1.2 million, 1.5 million depositors have had their deposits safe and protected. Okay. But, but what's the government's now, plan? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's important. We came on the heels on the back of a campaign for job creation. And that is what uh, we set out to do from day one. Uh, 
you know, yes, I agree with the TUC. There should be a comprehensive uh, policy document and uh, showing uh, benchmarks and targets that we are uh, hitting for each year. Do you okay. know if there's anything like that already? Oh, or, for now, I can, you know. If you read the budget, we have uh, ways that we are going about job creation and job opportunities that we are opening. Okay, the youth, uh, uh, NAPCO, for instance. You know, before we came to power, you remember the Unemployed Graduates Association. Mm. Okay, I see the system is calm now because a lot of graduates have been engaged. Okay, there may be challenges and others. That's good. And there was a backlog of trained and professional nurses mm. from 2012 to 2016. As we speak, about 42 to 54,000 of them have been rolled onto government payroll. Mm. You get it. They've been given uh, jobs. As we say in the planting for food and jobs uh, aspect. And, and you see, when people are engaged in agriculture and mm. coal, there are very deliberate strategic policies that government rolls out mm -hmm. that benefits them directly to enhance uh, their productivity. Mm -hmm. And so when you're doing this, then you begin to quantify them. If I am supported, I have other two or three dependents mm -hmm. that I'm getting into. Maybe hitherto I was doing one acre. Now I'm doing about four or five acres, mm -hmm. okay? And I've taken these people along. When they are counting, they need to count them. Because one person was doing one acre today, about three or four people have so, been added so, so to for example, because we, we, of government so support. So for example, within the agriculture Agricultural sector. Yeah. Most of our planting is rain based. Yeah. It is not irrigation. Yes. So we wait on the season to come and go. Within the lame dark period, when there's no rain, yeah. these jobs, do they still count as jobs? Oh, why not? Because, yeah, because you've got have you've harvested, right? And we have agribusiness, don't we? Mm. And so let's say uh, cereals, millets, uh, maize rice and others mm. when you have harvested them in between those periods you know you go to sell or market them right mm. but this government is also working on uh, one village one dam project mm. it's all geared towards agriculture improvement when are the dams coming oh the it's ongoing well. it's, it's on, they're ongoing see some of these things have gestation periods mm. uh, uh, you know a woman conceives gets pregnant and has about nine months to you know deliver mm. there are gestation periods for every the, the third year is almost is, ended of course, of course, you know, but if you go, you, I know your team has been mm. investigating, mm. you go to give to your Henny Kunedu's place, uh, you get some, and then the agri minister, he's one of the, uh, my favorite ministers, very, very forward-looking mm. uh, minister, you get it, and so you can call for some of these things, mm. and then you see the numbers, and then, of course, my Madam Hawa uh, mm. Kumsin's mm. uh, outfit, Special you initiatives. know, initiatives, mm. uh, projects, you know, these outfits will have the data for you, you get them, and then one district, one factory, the Honorable Alan Chemati and it's come out with figures. Madam Ohine could give to you Ohine Kunel, he said over 79 are in operations, okay? The Honorable Alan, he said about 181 you are in various stages, okay? okay? I'm excited about it because government is taking steps, you know, to say that, look, that we, we want to industrialize, mm. but we, de we need to go through processes. And some of the processes is helping the investor uh, to be able to have how, confidence how long and then must go the on doing wait that. Oh, no, it's an ongoing process. To see these process. dreams actualized. No, it's ongoing. Mm. You get it. Day in, day out, others are getting to completion level. You know, uh, the Kung Fu one. Mm. Recently, they did test, you know. The sugar fat. Yes. Mm. No, no. The pineapple. Fee, the pineapple, pineapple one. Sorry. Yeah, they, they've done some test uh, 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 productions and people have seen what they're doing. You get it. And so from that stage, then they go into uh, commercial production. Mm. You get it. So these are stages that we need to believe in. The Osage for Dr. Kwabin Kuma had a lot of factories and they didn't spring up in a day. Mm. You get it. It's not like building uh, school blocks. Mm. Okay. You're building an industry or a factory. Okay, so you need to have the patience to ensure that the structures are laid. We don't want to just do something and then you get it after five years, it's gone. If, if you, you get it, if no. You're, if you're using it the Osage Foods template, Osage Foods yeah. didn't go establishing 275 uh, factories. All oh, no, 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 yes. He yes. had six years. Yes. I mean, but he oh, did he had more than six years. As one at, minister, one at a time. Yes. One at yes. a time. Yes. And that's why, exactly why would government do one at a time? Because no, no, there seems to be too many things in oh, your no, hand. No. With the industrialization aspect, we've targeted that every district must have at least one factory. Mm. Every district. 
That is the government's vision okay. and, and target. And so we identify a local product or something that we believe uh, we can improve upon mm. get, and get investors to go in there and develop it. That is a good vision, mm. okay? But you don't rush it. There are some places investors may find it difficult to go and, 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 and get their industry. So you need to entice them to go in there. There must be incentives for them. So, so speaking, these speaking are of, the steps that the speak, government is doing to get people, every district, to roll on. It shouldn't be just the first term. As we go on, it will be an ongoing process. So, so you're suggesting yeah. that this will actually take full form when you get a second term? Oh, it's an ongoing practice. No, no. My, no, my, my yes. question is, you're saying... First term is ongoing. Second term is going to go on. Third term, it will be going so, on. So the full complement <laughs> yeah. of the factories yes. will be achieved by the second term. Is that the solution? No, no. It's, it's an, even second term, you may be there. There may be some districts that wouldn't be having them because of the peculiarity of the uh, uh, raw material availability. Okay. You get it. And then the interest of the investor to be in those districts. They, they, so they, these let, are let, things let's that talk about, we are working on. Let's talk quickly about the enabling environment that yes. the government has been talking yes. about, public-private partnership yes. and all yes. of that. Yes. The banks uh, have their lending rates out there you know the industry say bring it down or we're going to have a lot of challenges oh. they say government is not spending to make sure that the economy is expanding for them to be able to get in Good. there and particularly for entrepreneurs who are first timers who want to get in there it's really tough for them so the indicators look good on paper but on the ground, no, it's actual. It's, 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 actual. it's not. I was it's not, about it's not this. what it yes, is. I and, agree and, with them. And they say, look, create the enabling environment. Let the private sector employ more people and take charge. No, the because you can't created, employ everybody. It's, yes, it's creating an enabling environment. We 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 were doing so for four years, right? Continuous today. Well, it comes, but it's not as it used to be. Okay, mm. We've, it's virtually abated. Okay, that's good for industrialization. Okay. And then government again, now as we speak, the macro sector is very good. Okay, the pointers are indicated. Interest rate is come down from uh, the average of 33. As we speak, is about 26. Mm. Okay, but Alassane Andani says it's between 17, 20, and then 25 percent. Very good one. And government is saying if you are ready to get into 1B1F, we are taking 50 percent of the cost of that. Uh, 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 cash or financing mm. you want. Government is taking, if, if it's 26, mm. government is taking 13% per, uh, percent of that, mm. and you, the investor, you take the remain. That is also enabling mm. to encourage you to come in, okay? okay? And then you look at the indicators, inflation, what, what is it, okay? Uh, uh, the, the reserve, okay? These things are very taxes. important. The, the, good, the taxes. tax regimes. Mm. Yes, the tax regime is... Look at it. Business, Isn't it? We've, taken off, is, we've taken off. We've taken off. We've taken off a lot of taxes mm. in this country. Okay. okay, a lot of taxes, especially uh, other sectors. You know, mm. the ports okay. and cool. Great. Of, let let them so have, in have a bite. Time before yeah. we get to the point where our production will be enough to feed us. You know, people are important, and so you don't have to make the situation worse for them. That's how come government is reduced some taxes okay. about fifty. Thank you. So Adam. this government is creating the enabling environment. Adam, Adam, enabling environment business. is there. Uh, government has a plan. You are not listening hard enough to hear the plan, <laughs> and uh, well, everything is on course. The figures that you see on paper is actually oh on the ground. God, right. The jobs are there. Stop complaining. No, no, the jobs it are ongoing. Just, I mean, the, <laughs> the jobs are ongoing. Yeah, yeah. The factories yeah, are ongoing yes, as well. Yes. Well, it's 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 it's, it's very, uh, very, very, very ridiculous wow. when 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 you follow government's own narrative on job creation. Mm. And uh, I'll come to that. But let me just uh, remind him. He said something about the factories continuing in their second term and all that. Second term, he won't get because he's disappointed. But you are not the electric. No, 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 he's no he, yeah. I, I mean, but he won't get. So he Let's mark it. And he he made a promise. 2021. You made a promise for the first time. My brother, I wish your cameraman mm. yeah. could zoom in no, on we this can, we can particular... Capture. We are not but, sure but, of the but, brand, but no, of the brand of the phone. Oh, no, we are committed we, to we it. It's an iPhone. It's an iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a look at it. But I mean, the chat, yes, the chat, yes, uh, yes. the one that's more about the chat. In the the NPP presented to the youth of Ghana mm. this chat. And this was supposed to be their plan for industrialization. Mm. One district, mm. one that's factory. Right. Mm. We committed. In this chat, every single district mm. is in here. And their proposed plan mm. for the factory. So, for instance, you go to a place like Ejisu Juaben. Okay. And they tell you that 
they seek to have a total employment of 320. And the factory they intend to do there is a designer lace textile factory. Mm -hmm. You go to oh, every district. That is their plan. And this is yes. what they presented mm. to the electorate. I'm building the point. They are committed to and it. And this is what we bought. They are no. committed to it. Yes. I'm telling you, you see, it is not just okay. about you sitting on air, or I mean here, yeah, saying that you are committed to it. Even the districts that they claim that they are building their factories, go in and make reference to this list. And I'm telling you on yeah. authority, none of the so-called factories that they are building is in line with this. And let me tell you are, what are you are doing. Are you contesting the... I am contesting all of them. <laughs> and I have checked personally. And I'm telling you that I'm, I'm you, asking you your production to all the, the, you see, the no, communities you provided, you provided us again. Okay. Recently, they provided us a list of factories that are ongoing. Okay. Okay. And I'm saying that when you make reference and you compare, you so, just oppose that with okay. this. Okay. It is at variance. And you know what is happening? Mm. When you make... A promise. So you're suggesting, look, you're yes, suggesting no, they can't I'm, change. I'm they can't change it's not about not changing. You see, it's not about not changing. Okay. You see, it's not about not changing. Okay. I'm building a point. Built. When you make a lofty promise of claiming that you understand the fundamentals of all the districts okay. and you could create specific jobs yeah. and you make specific promises based on research. and based on that and you claim it was based on research. Yeah. So at what point has the research changed that things are changing now? Now, when you make specific promise mm. and the electorate bought into that vision mm. and voted for you in confidence, I have mates in the university who lined up. They, I mean, they were in the queue. Spent what, what, hours is, what, what, what is Adam, wrong? Adam, 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 hold on. No, 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 allow me to allow me to allow me to allow me to ask you Allow me to ask my question. Allow me to ask my question. Allow me to ask my question. Now, so the will, the will you showed us. Yes, that's the chart. This is what it Yes, the chart says that, for example, if we find clay in Adaklu. Yes. That's the natural resource there. Thank We're going you. to use it to make pots yes. or ceramics or whatever yeah. it is. If they get so, to so Adaklu, allow, 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 yes. allow my question. If they go to Adaklu now and they realize that, well, there's been a depletion of the, of the yeah. clay. So we have sugar cane now. Let's do a sugar cane factory. Is there something wrong with it? <laughs> so you say you build it. There's nothing wrong. Ah. But listen, that's, that's not even the point. The point is that, so we uh, bought into uh, this specific uh, vision. Okay. Mm. And I am the all I want to say in summary is that they are not delivering on that promise. What okay. they are doing, oh, mm. what they are doing is that is what every other government, successive governments have done in the past. Okay. Really? Where where government gives some sort of support mm. to those in the private sector. And mm. you can say what we said. And that the John, that is not what you promised. And oh. it is important to tell us the truth. Tony. And that is that is not what so you are concerned. Me, me, what they have done. What they worry. have done. And that is what <laughs> successive governments have done in the past. Under the presidency of John Drummond, so you're saying there's nothing new they are doing. Even the pharmaceutical <laughs> companies got this kind of support. When you go to the Ministry of Trade, mm. there is always an allocation of some sort of financial support to private companies. Okay. It is just that we didn't make it look like a well package, one district, one factory. And that is what they are doing. The government has not been able to build any of the factories that they promised. Hey. What they have but, done, but do you see a plan? They, make, they do have what? a plan. They are only using some money to support the private sector. And that we also did. Mm. We All the pharmaceutical companies in Ghana, you can ask, didn't they benefit from stuff mm. like that? So what they are doing it's yeah, just to support yeah, ongoing private projects. Do you see an, an, an employment Kafka? reduction plan? No, there is no employment. Plan. In fact, what is yeah, happening is that unemployment is rather on the increase. Okay. Sure? When President Akufuado went to <laughs> Parliament, he told us that 200,000 jobs were provided under planting for food and jobs. Mm. Today, the minister is saying 750,000. A whole gap of over seven hundred forty-five thousand. Yes, between two hundred thousand and seven hundred and forty-five. Look at the gap there. Okay. They are not even consistent. No, no, no. You are not. Let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, hold on, gentlemen. What the president says is we are supporting two hundred thousand. Gentlemen, hold on. Gentlemen, let's not keep a woman waiting. Let's not keep the lady waiting. You are supporting five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. I gave you a fair one person, and the person has seven dependent. You calculate the seven as the number of people. We are going to support. 
talking about it. Okay, okay. Let's okay. let, 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 listen to what yeah, you're talking about. Let's talk about dependence. Let's not keep a lady standing. This is very interesting. You're talking about dependence. Allow the lady. Just a quick one. Allow the lady, yes, please. Yes, quickly. Aisha, The very first one, Johnny, says, Good morning, TV3. Akufuado is not in to curb corruption. If not, he wouldn't have appointed Kwame Usu as the board chairman of GRE after spending billions of taxpayers' money just on air conditioners. Say no to a talkative government with little or virtually nothing to show except corruption. It's coming from Usman in Tamale. Uh, Charles Nyami from Asamankesi said, under uh, this government, um, don't expect to discuss its scandal be, uh, beyond two weeks because one will definitely drop in between. And it has become very clear that if you are not corrupt, you can't work under this government. Thanks to Manesse mm. for his resilience to fight the systematic um, corruption regardless of the threats on his life. Now, uh, this one also says in Krumah's Ghana is bleeding internally due to corruption. Corruption in Ghana is now institutionalized. No name was added to that one. Good morning, TV3. Why is the NADMO boss not smiling today? It makes the program, it uh, doesn't make the program lively and stress-free. Ajoa is asking that question, and she sends that one for Mashaiman. Um, I thought the president was a listening president, but I now believe he is a clearing president. Just wait and see. These people will be cleared again, despite the overwhelming evidence. Even though the president has done very well in uplifting the lives of Ghanaians, it's the other way around for corruption. I'm disappointed, though, by but as a floating voter, I'm still convinced to vote for the current president until otherwise. Eras accents that one also from Tamale. Hello, Johnny. Kindly tell the NPP communicator he should continue to speak good English in our ears. 2020 will soon catch them up. Highly incompetent government. Jethro sent that one from Accra. Um, if the PPA boss and the people involved in this corrupt action are not sacked, I will believe the assertion that President Donado is the most corrupt president Ghana has ever had. Abdul Samet sent that one from Krachi. And so, Johnny, those are some Okay, of thank you, sweet Aisha. Well, uh, Dr. Clement Park has sent us a message. Said, Truly, uh, Johnny, can you mention any factory established? I mean, as from scratch, not enhanced or retooled or as part of, as part of the 1D1F. Truth is that the 1D1F yes. has only taken advantage of existing factories no. by and large. Are you aware that not even a single factory has been established or even retooled in the Upper East region? Dr. Park is uh, asking Tell those, my good those friend, questions. Dr. Park, it could be a clear example. Well, he says, he says in his, in his uh, region. No, there's a policy mm. in our you know, industrialization drive to have you know, uh, support existing but challenged industries. That's, okay. It's there in the 2017 And then says it's nothing budget. new. It's there. We've no, no, no. Doing that no that forever. is different from the 1D1F. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so for 1D1F, how many yes. factories can we count? Yes, so from I scratch. Mean, yes. <laughs> from scratch. 79, according to Madame Gifty or Hinekunen, okay. 79. Okay. And then the support for in, uh, challenged industries. Okay. Mm. It's there. About 50 of them. The Honorable Alan Chimanti mentioned them. Okay. Get, so that is it. But the one district, one factory, there are certain districts that have about two or three. Okay. okay. So it's, so, it's a so, policy so, uh, for the, government. The Let's minister, support government to go on The minister here says 79 yeah. and Honorable Alan says... Uh, okay. what? Not one hundred and eighty-one. No, no, one eighty-one at different stages. Different stages. Yes, he is talking okay. about the different stages. Okay. okay, and we also said. That Why can't we have one figure running through so that? Oh no, no, we don't the get seventy-nine are going are that are completed. Are completed. No, no, seventy-nine are completed. <laughs> okay. okay, and are working. That, okay. That's what we. They say. are working. Yes, okay. most of them are. They are. Working. They are up yes. and working yes. from yes. scratch. Yeah, from scratch. Okay, you okay. get okay. it. Yeah, we are getting all there. And we support challenging the thing that you're No, no, the time is actually finished. But Johnny, Johnny. You are getting the different figures because the government is telling lies. When you are blatantly lying, they cannot even be consistent with their figures. Johnny, I think that when it comes to job creation, we need to distinguish it completely from stimulus package. Okay. And what they are doing now is to provide stimulus package for existing factors. And they must be honest oh. that they are not following their own chart that they claim was based on research. You sit you Can see it be coincidental? Is, is it accidental? Is it accidental <laughs> that in all 216 districts, mm. the same research you, you, you go no then okay. at the time you made okay. a promise? Okay. 216. Okay. All of them, when you go, the circumstances have changed such that not a single one 
is consistent with what you promised? What do you mean? Is it coincidental? What is the relevance of that? Is it coincidental? Okay. We need to come oh, with a please. plan that provides Are we getting the industries? And Are they sustainable? Okay. This is the visionary leader. Well, they... Oh, somebody who just gives... So, so the jobs are there. People can find jobs to do. Oh, no, no. The Ghanaian youth, youth are watching you. you. The Ghanaian youth, youth are watching you. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then supporting young entrepreneurs and cool. Job okay. Kumar's place, loyal job. Okay. We want to hear the name. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Mr. George A.C. is the Director of Communications at the National Disaster Management Organization. He speaks for the NPP and Adam Agbana is a Deputy National Youth Organizer of the NDC. We're told that this weekend the NDC will be up in primaries. We wish. Uh, all of them okay. well. Uh, Dr. Clement Park, I wish you all the best. And uh, you're, ru you're running on a post. Yes, he's running. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, and uh, to you, doctor. So, the jobs are there. That's what Mr. Easy says, and we are working at it. Go grab some if you can find them.